Hello, this is Ghostlike, and in this uh, part of the series, I will show you how to set up the notebook, install Stable Diffusion, and run the web UI. Let's get started. I want to show you how to set up a Paperspace account that uh, you can do pretty easily yourself. Instead, I will start by signing into my own. I already have a notebook which I am using, but I will start a new one from scratch to demonstrate how it is done for you. Click on create. Paperspace already comes uh, with a stable diffusion image provided, but it is better to instead start from scratch and get a separate file to set everything up. I do not remember the exact reason why this way is better, but it is. Before starting a notebook, be sure to set that auto shut down timeout to 6 hours. Since I won't be prompting an image, it doesn't matter which free tier you get. I'll just get an A4000. Now it is starting the machine. Now it is setting up the image. And it has started. What we need to do now is get an interactive Python script file to set a stable diffusion up and install all the dependencies. Going to Google, type um, stable diffusion web UI paper space. What we are looking for is this engineer of stuff stable diffusion paper space. This is, uh, this is the file that we need to download. To download it, there are several ways. We can clone the repo, we can use uh, vget from the Linux terminal, but uh, for beginners, the easiest way is to just save it to disk. Right click on the row here. Save link as. And then uh, save it anywhere you want. I'll save it in uh, E. It has saved. Now go back to the notebook. And uh, over here you have an option to upload the files. Click on it, find where the ePython script file is, and then upload it. Now setting uh, things up is pretty easy. But before we do that, I want to show you how to get the Stable Diffusion model. You can download it yourself from the internet and I will show you how to do that later. But Paperspace already provides the model in its datasets. From the data sources, click on Public. And over here you will find the Stable Diffusion. Just, go, just scroll down. We have a stable diffusion V2, but uh, for now the first one is better. Click on mount. The, the reason we are doing this, instead of downloading the model separately, is because uh, the paper space tiers have a storage limit. The free tier, $0 per month, is 5 GB. Most stable diffusion models are between 3 and 5 GB uh, long, depending on whether they have been pruned or not, on, or whether they are float 16 or float 32. So, if you go over the storage limit, you will get charged on your account. The pro tier on which I am subscribed to has a limit of 15 GB, which is enough to host a model or two, but not much more. So we will mount the Stable Diffusion Classic. I mean, we already did. Now we will set up the web UI. Click on the ePython notebook script. Then what we will do is uh, uncomment one of these. Since I'm on the pay tier, I need to uncomment this line. But if you are on the free tier, you should uncomment this. Then press Ctrl Enter to run the cell. Now we need to clone the web UI repository. Select the cell by clicking on it and then press Ctrl Enter to run it. This will set up and install the web UI, but that is not all. We need to install the requirements and download the needed repositories, that is the external packages needed to run Stable Diffusion. While the above cell is still running, press Ctrl Enter to queue it. That means uh, this cell will run after the previous one has finished running. This one takes a few minutes to finish uh, setting up. 
by running these uh, scripts you can um, download some of the external models but but don't it will take up your storage space and uh, in the next lecture i will show you how to download it uh, by yourself there are better models than this one than these ones just ignore all of these scripts ignore this one as well what you need to do is run this one Control enter now it's queued it will run after the previous one has finished then scroll down and uh, to run the web UI you need uh, to control enter this but before that let me just add one thing to the arguments here no half y Sometimes when I upscale images in stable diffusion, I get uh, black tiles. So by adding this, the problem goes away. Now run this uh, cell. Oh, now this uh, cell is running. Now it will load the model weights and, uh, run the, and start the web UI. After that, you will be able to start prompting. Now just uh, click on this uh, link and it will start the web UI in your browser. Now you can try prompting an image. Snowy mountain. I'm just uh, doing this to demonstrate how it uh, works. As a sneak preview into the following lectures, take a look at this uh, image that I am prompted. I just put in this uh, description in the positive prompt, this in the negative, selected the optimizer DPM++ 2M Karas, then I have uh, selected the high res fix, selected the upscaling by 2.5 times and uh, then pressed the generate. That uh, turned uh, the primitive and simple image we saw in the previous slide into this uh, masterpiece. Take a look at how it uh, is when it's upscaled. Pretty nice, huh? In the next lectures, I will show you how to download and use other models than the current uh, vanilla stable diffusion one. I will also show you how to prompt beautiful landscapes such as this one and how to prompt the only girls you see in the thumbnails. So stay tuned.